So I'm not exactly a person who pays much attention at all to rumors and leaks of the latest Pokemon games, because 95% of the time they're completely fake. However, I would be lying to you if I said they didn't interest me at all, because at the very least, even if most of them aren't true, they are kind of interesting to read through, especially in a slow news period of time while you wait for the next announcement or official trailer to come around. And so, for that reason, I thought it would be fun to do a sort of roundup video on some of the ridiculous rumors and leaks that have been coming out about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet since the game's announcement. What's up everybody, it's good to see you again face to face, it's been a little while since I've done this kind of video, but as I said, I thought it would be pretty fun to just casually go through some of these ridiculous rumors, and while I don't want to make a habit of this kind of video because I don't really like covering stuff that is just obviously completely untrue, there is an element of intrigue to it at the same time, and so I thought maybe just this once we could get away with it. So I've got a handful of rumors and leaks about Scarlet and Violet that I thought were interesting that I'm going to be taking a look at here, and while some of them have already proven to be fake and some of them we're still waiting to hear the verdict on, even though they're most likely fake, we're just going to take them at face value and discuss whether or not it would be cool if these were true, whether or not we actually like the idea of them, and just enjoy them for what they're worth, because like I said, they're most likely completely focus. With all of that being said though, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first rumor slash leak I wanted to talk about today evidently comes from 4chan, like most Pokemon rumors and leaks do, and it has to do with the Pokemon who apparently are going to get regional variant forms in these games. It's pretty likely at this point, since regional variants have become a regular thing, that we are going to see new regional variants in Scarlet and Violet, so that's not really a big claim to make, but this post, or leak, rather, lists some of the specific Pokémon that we apparently can look forward to getting regional variants in Scarlet and Violet. The post claims that Arbok is going to be getting a Poison Steel type variant, Tentacool and Tentacruel are going to be getting a Water Ghost type variant, Kingler and Krabby are going to get a Steel Water variant, Wooper is going to get a pure Poison type variant, which would honestly break the internet if that happened because it's freaking Wooper, and Quagsire is also going to become Poison Ground and get a new evolution on top of that. That's pretty crazy to think about, but I feel like the Wooper family definitely would deserve that. Meanwhile, we've also got Dunsparce receiving the Dragon type, and then also getting a new evolution that's Dragon Flying, I guess? Claydol and Baltoy, Psychic Ghost type, Love Disk, Fairy, Water with a new evolution, Shellgon, Rock Dragon type, plus a new evolution, which is kind of interesting. I guess that would be a split evolution. Uh, then Patrat and Water. Watchhog, Dark Normal, plus a new evolution, kind of like Zigzagoon and Obstagoon in Gen 8, Crocodile becoming Water Dark type instead of Ground Dark type, and then Ponyard and Bisharp getting a Steel Fighting type variant as opposed to Steel Dark. I'm pretty sure they're Steel Dark. Once again, this is more than likely fake, but you do have some interesting possibilities here. You've obviously got the obligatory regional variant Dunsparce, which I feel like eventually has to happen, and I feel like we're getting closer to that point, so maybe it's a possibility. And obviously, the poison type Wooper and then Quagsire getting another evolution on top of that would just be incredible. That would be an internet-breaking moment, and so realistically, even though it's probably not going to happen, I wouldn't mind this batch of Pokemon getting regional variants if that actually ended up becoming true. Next up, we've got something that's really, really interesting, and honestly is my kind of style of fake rumor slash leak, because yes, this one has already, I'm pretty sure, been confirmed to be fake, but it's really well made and really interesting anyway. 
This leak is trying to pass itself off as a couple of screenshots from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and these look really legit. They take place within a battle in the game, you've got Fue Coco up against some kind of new Pokemon in a desert setting, and it all looks really professional. So even if it is fake, which I'm pretty sure it is, whoever made this did a really, really good job. And also, I just gotta say, if the person who made this is out there and they would like credit for their creation, just hit me up on Twitter or Instagram and let me know you actually created this, and I will definitely give you credit in the description below. But right now, this is kind of a anonymous leak type of situation. The Scorpion Pokemon that Fue Coco is battling against in these screenshots seems to be a genie's lamp crossed with a scorpion, and it honestly looks really cool. That's a really creative idea. It looks like it's been pulled off really well here, and so I honestly would not be mad at all if this was real, even though, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's fake. Up next, we're going to move over to Twitter and take a look at a supposed Scarlet and Violet leak account, which is run by someone who apparently has insider information. You know, their uncle works at Nintendo, the whole deal. This person is known as the SV guy, and in a nutshell, some of what they are claiming in their tweets revolves around the new mechanic that we are probably going to get in Scarlet and Violet. I've talked about this already, but there's a big old crystal in the Japanese logos for Scarlet and Violet that probably means it's tied to some kind of new feature in the game that's going to be the central focus, and the SV guy apparently has the details. They say, in short, that there are going to be 18 gym leaders in this game, one for every type, and that these crystals that we see in the Japanese logos of Scarlet and Violet are going to allow your Pokemon to change their type, uh, I assume based on the type of crystal that you give to them. Apparently, some Pokemon will also gain new forms when you give these crystals to them, and there are around 25 new forms in total. Once again, this is something that I have talked about as well. It is pretty likely that we will actually be getting a new form of Pokemon that is tied in with this central mechanic, simply because that is something that Pokemon games in recent generations have been doing a lot of. We got Mega Evolutions, we got Gigantamax forms, it's kind of becoming sort of a thing. So it's not too much of a stretch to say that that would happen, but that's kind of where the legitimacy of this leak stops for me. And that's because I don't really buy the idea that a crystal that could change a Pokemon's type would really work as a widespread feature. Number one, when I think of something like that, my mind immediately goes to Arceus and its plates, and if you introduce something like this for all Pokemon, it would basically make Arceus and its ability to be all types null and void, and I don't think they would just completely destroy Arceus' reputation like that, especially following Pokemon Legends Arceus, so I think that's one strike against this already. Secondly, I just kinda feel like it would really make the competitive scene just way too wild when any Pokemon could be any type. At that point, what would be the type of them having a base type? And what would be the point of certain abilities that allow you to change your type, like Libero or Protean that Greninja has? It just seems like there's a little too many inconsistencies with this idea for it to be feasible. And while I really like the idea of being able to battle 18 gym leaders, because I mean, who wouldn't want more gym leaders? That also just seems kind of a little too good to be true, and it is something that was also uh, talked about, and there was a buzz about that possibility for Sword and Shield, so I feel like that could be where they're getting this idea. So this is another one that I just don't necessarily buy. 
Another thing that has been rumored and speculated about that the SV guy does touch on is the fact that apparently within the player character's house, which we see in the trailer, there's some pictures on the wall that are supposedly hinting towards what the evolutions of the starter Pokemon are going to be. Apparently, this picture of a flamenco dancer has to do with Sprigatito's evolution, this picture of some fruit apparently has to do with Fue Coco's evolution, and this picture picture apparently has to do with Quaxley's evolution, who apparently is going to be based on Don Quixote. Technically speaking, there's no reason that that couldn't be a thing, but obviously it's all just speculation at this point, so take it with a grain of salt. Moving along, another one that has been confirmed to be fake, but is still pretty interesting nonetheless, is this particular image of what is supposed to be the region map of the region in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We get to see some of this map in the initial reveal trailer for the games, but this leak claimed to be leaking the full map in its entirety. It was first leaked on 4chan, I believe, and just looking at it, even though it is fake and has been confirmed to be so at this point, it's probably pretty close to what we're actually going to see, given that we've already seen a good chunk of it to begin with. And overall, it seems to look pretty cool. It seems like it's got several towns and cities dotted throughout the region, which is something that we do get a glimpse of in the trailer. And it just look, I mean, there's not a lot of detail to it, but it looks interesting in general. You've obviously got that big lake area. It looks like you've got some mountains, some deserts. You've got some island areas as well. It just looks pretty cool. So while this is fake, it is probably going to be fairly close to what we actually get, which I wouldn't mind because this looks like a cool region to explore. Finally, the last leak that I have to talk about in this video is another one that comes from 4chan, so it's probably fake, but it's got some interesting details in it that I did feel like would be cool to discuss. This person who is making this post on 4chan claims to have been able to test out the games in some way, shape, or form, and so now they've come to the internet to share their immensely valuable knowledge with the rest of the world. First off, when it comes to the starters, this post claims that Sprigatito is going to be a grass fairy type, which does seem to be the case, so that's not too big of a claim to make. They also say that Fue Coco is going to be a fire ghost type. There's been a lot of speculation about that, including by myself, so once again, not too big of a claim to make. And Quaxley is apparently going to become a water poison type that's partially based on a pirate, which is a a pretty cool concept and it would be interesting to see how the poison type would work with a Pokemon like Quaxley. They also claim that the name of the region is Espigo, which is a okay name, I guess. And there's also going to be some regional forms in this game, including for Tauros and Miltank, who are going to become fire and fairy type respectively. I think it is very possible, as I have talked about myself, that Tauros will receive some kind of special treatment in this game due to it being a bull and Spain having a close association with bulls. It's their national animal, for goodness sake. So I think this one is also possible. Not really a whole lot of big claims here so far, which is what makes me believe this is kind of probably not true. However, there are some more things to talk about here that are a little less safe in terms of making a prediction about this game. First off, it claims that Dragonair is going to get a new evolution, apparently branching off from Dragonite, that is going to be called Dragonail. And that would be cool and wild, so I don't know if I can believe it. And then finally, the last detail they claim is that the new feature mechanic gimmick of this game is Move Fusion, meaning that you could combine Quick Attack and Thundershock, as this post claims, to get a electric type Quick Attack, which is not actually too far-fetched because this is something that was going to be in Generation 3, but was cut for some reason, and we actually learned about this in a leak of 
Ruby and Sapphire's beta. It was a whole thing. So that's actually not only cool, but also not too unrealistic at the same time. Like I said, this is probably not going to happen, but on the off chance it does, I guess you heard it here first, and I definitely wouldn't mind that happening either. And there you have it, everybody. Those were some crazy and ridiculous rumors and leaks for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that have already made their way onto the internet. And while I don't really plan on covering too many more rumors about these games, unless they're super prominent and super interesting, uh, it was fun, like I said, to kind of look at these at least one time, and it was also a good excuse to bring my face to your face because it's been a while. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe if you're new for more Pokemon content all the time. If you want to further support the channel and what I do here as well, you can check out my Pokemon remixes on Spotify as well as other streaming services, and that makes such a huge difference and is so appreciated. So everyone who's doing that, thank you, and if you're not doing it, consider checking it out because it's a great and easy way to help out what I do here if you like what I do here. With all of that being said though, I will be back with another video very soon, so until then, as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video, I love you all very much, and I will smell you guys later.